Hello, everybody. This is Glenn Cathy. I thankfully just received uh, access to Facebook's graph search, and I wanted to run some real searches that uh, sourcers and recruiters and talent acquisition professionals out there that don't currently have access to Facebook graph search yet can take a look at and say, okay, you know, if I were running searches for these types of people, how does it actually work? You know, what comes back, and what is my initial take? On some of the pros and cons of Facebook's graph search. So let's go ahead and jump in and say, let's look for product managers that currently work at Microsoft who live in Seattle. So we have fewer than 100 people. Uh, just a, a moment, we can do some search refinements here. Uh, being able to search for employer, in this case current employer, very similar to LinkedIn. You want to control that variable is huge. Um, I can also control whether they're my friends or not. So I don't think I actually have any friends on Facebook that are product managers that uh, live in Seattle and work for Microsoft. But this was one of my initial concerns, the ability to, to search for people that are not my friends because in many cases the best people are you know, beyond your network. Some people know the right people. Uh, many people don't know all the best people in the world. But I wanted to show you the, the results that come back. You can see, and you know, we have some hits for a product manager at Microsoft, service at Microsoft. You can see that it says former product manager. We can see it's getting a little bit fuzzy there, at least in terms of what I was trying to ask for. If you scroll down a little bit further, we're still looking at product. Now, can we get some people who are actually you know, director of business development, and they were formerly a product manager at Hewlett Packard. Uh, some people would say, hey, Glenn, not a big deal. Somebody I might want to look at as well. Um, I would argue it, it, it all depends if you're looking for something specific. Uh, I'm not a fan of saying, hey, you might also like, I know what I'm looking for. I know I know what I want. If I was looking for directors of business development who are formerly product managers somewhere else, I would look for them. But again, not bad. You, know, you can see some of the, the hits we're getting here get a little bit fuzzy. And not that many results. I'd argue that that's not an accurate representation of the actual product manager community in Seattle for Microsoft. but I'll actually test that uh, with some different searches later. So let's switch it up and look for software engineers who currently work at Google who live in New York. Of course, it helps if I spell New York properly. <laughs> it's the fact that it took that. Uh, it's kind of funny. All right. Software engineers who work for Google. Uh, we have a partner at Google Ventures, some software engineers. Okay, not bad. Looks at producer, former software engineer. Kind of makes sense why it came back. Let's see if we can do better than that. Let's say people who are currently software engineers. Immediate, oh, gotta love that. Uh, <laughs> big fan. Baby, whoop. Okay, so we can see that by refining it, by saying, hey, you're currently a software engineer, we're finding a lot of software engineers that uh, currently work at Google in New York. So, not bad. All right, so let's take another angle. Let's actually show you something that I was disappointed by, but also uh, I was also enthusiastic about. Let's say I wanted to try to search for multiple titles using Boolean logic. Oh, Facebook says, hey, buddy, this search isn't currently supported. I'm hoping that currently supported is the uh, currently is the operative word. Um, I'm going to be optimistic and say that it is. That means that hopefully uh, the folks at Facebook are actually going to give people the ability to search for concepts instead of just a single term or a single title or a single company. In many cases, I may actually want to look for people who have worked at one of 20 companies, uh, something you can very easily do on LinkedIn that you um, obviously can't do with Facebook's graph search, nor could you do the same thing when it comes to if I was looking for one of 20 titles because they're all relevant to me, I can't really do that uh, with Facebook's graph search at this time. So let's cross our fingers and hope that uh, Facebook's uh, graph search team gives us the ability to surgically retrieve exactly what we want. Although, again, uh, props for the natural uh, language search. I'm a, I'm a big fan, and I could easily see in the future 
people just speaking queries into Facebook and, and, and finding things and refining things uh, immediately, you know, catching things like uh, people who work at Google and then saying people who currently work at Google. It's something that I would love to be able to do verbally instead of having to type it in. So Facebook Graph Search Team, get busy. All right, so let's do a couple more searches really quickly and switch it off of the IT because the whole world, although to some people, uh, revolves around IT recruiting. There's plenty of people that have to find all kinds of other individuals. So let's say underwriters who live in Charlotte, North Carolina. So the first thing I notice is fewer than 100 people. There's, I think there's probably more than 100 underwriters who, who currently live in, in Charlotte. But, you know, we are getting underwriters. So we got a good match there. Um, just as a cross-reference, we can go to LinkedIn and say, LinkedIn, how many underwriters do you think are in the Charlotte area? And we can see with the current title of underwriter uh, within 25 miles of 28201, LinkedIn says, oh, I've actually got over 1,100 people who have a current title of an underwriter. So there's quite a big delta there with uh, Facebook's graph search, which makes you wonder, you know, my theory is that a lot of people just don't enter their professional information. I think there's more IT folks that might enter their professional information. Again, that's just a theory. Um, I'm showing you a massive differential with something as basic as an underwriter, you know, less than 100 versus uh, over 1,100. So I, I would guarantee you there's probably more underwriters actually on Facebook in the Charlotte area. They just don't put the information on their profile because, as we know, there's more than two times uh, the people in the United States on Facebook than there are in LinkedIn. But this is the issue with Facebook that I'm not sure will ever change. I hope that it does, but I don't think it ever will because the, ba uh, the way that people look at Facebook versus uh, professional networking sites like LinkedIn. So let's do one more. Again, non-IT. I do like this function. So you'll notice I said who live near. So we don't have to find people who necessarily live in a particular city. We can say people who live near a city, which I, I appreciate. Now, Obviously, that's somewhat of an approximation of a zip code radius search for, for sourcing and recruiting. You know, we get spoiled with the specificity there, but the fact that we can say who live near a particular city uh, is definitely helpful. And again, just a, a basic rundown, being able to control some things that you may not think of as interesting. Uh, we, you know, we want to talk about diversity recruiting, at least when it comes to gender. Um, we could look for you know female software engineers or, or female accountants. So. Uh, that obviously is promising for uh, diversity sourcing and recruiting. We can control employers. We can control uh, friendship levels. If I want to look for people who are not my friends, I can do that. Uh, again, that's uh, basically taking care of one of the concerns that I had with regard to uh, Facebook's graph search. I'm thankfully not limited to people who are friends of friends of friends. Of course, if it's public, anyone can find it. And just to show you that if we wanted to, we could also control years of experience, not just years of experience at a particular company, but we could also control whether someone's junior or senior uh, by being able to control when somebody actually graduated from a college. So we can find out how many years of, you know, post high school or post uh, university experience they have. So again, that, that is useful. We can look for likes. Uh, again, I'm not, I'm not that, uh, I'm not that excited about being able to search for likes because people can like something. If I'm looking for a software engineer who likes Hadoop. It, just because they like Hadoop on Facebook doesn't mean they actually have any hands-on experience, which for most sources and recruiters, that's what we need. You know, we need to find somebody that has real hands-on experience with something, not just something they express an interest in. And although, again, I could easily argue that there could be a weak tie there, and that I'm sure there is some uh, implied logic that some of the folks that like Hadoop actually do. But again, we can run a search somewhere else and find people that we can directly identify as having the right experience. So... Again, now you want to talk about uh, total years on the planet. We can control when somebody actually was born. So if we wanted to find somebody who you know, had a certain number of years of experience, we can kind of reverse engineer that based on their, their birth year. If we're looking for junior people that have one or two years of experience, obviously you can't look for people that have 30. There's probably going to be a mismatch based on uh, compensation. And, of course, some stuff that's probably not relevant to us in this case, uh, but this is the fodder for... Uh, some of the funny posts that are out there uh, with regard to Facebook graph search. So um, again, back to the accountants who live near Alpharetta. You know, we're finding accountants. I think that's great. Uh, one thing I want to point out again is that it says it's fewer than 100 people. And I just wanted to go to LinkedIn and say, 
LinkedIn, how many how many accountants do you think live near Alpharetta? So a current title of accountant, just one title, and I'm looking for 25 mile radius of, of an Alpharetta uh, postal code, and we have almost 6,000. So the delta of almost 6,000 accountants on, on LinkedIn, and going back to Facebook graph search, uh, fewer than 100 people, and I wasn't even forcing it to, to say people who are currently accountants. Uh, I'm sure that we probably get some fuzzier results the further I scroll down. Right, we have a former accountant who's someone who's a financial controller now. But I uh, wanted to give you a quick run through, just slightly over 10 minutes of what Facebook's graph search uh, looks like. Uh, a handful of real world searches and what comes back and my take on some of the things that I like and some of the things that might be cause for alarm at least for the moment specifically with regard to the volume of people that come back for, for certain types of skills so thank you very much for viewing